Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. It is time for none other than Caspa update. Looking at Caspa on the daily time frame, it's up about 6%. Over the past 24 hours, we're seeing great uh, price action around the crypto board because we have seen Grayscale winning the lawsuit against SEC, and which is impacting the entire market uh, to really go towards the upside, especially Bitcoin. So that is great to see, especially after having you know a few rough weeks over the past few days. But if we're looking at Caspa right before we're closing out the month of October, not October. Wow, how am I? already in October, I mean August, you know, you can see the price of Casper is currently sitting at 3.57 cents, up 6.4% over the last 24 hours in USD comparative, also up 0.6% in BTC comparative over the last 24 hours. Looking at its market cap, $712 million and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at $21 million. So what exactly is next? You know, we're going to get into the charts, but as always, just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so as far as the markets go you know we haven't really seen as of now any new exchanges coming on board but i think that will change in the near future but let's take a look at the price and see what is happening beautiful you know whenever i am examining the charts of caspa you know i really get that excitement in myself because truly 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 this project charts speak for themselves now you may be saying crypto zx why is that the case remember guys a project that holds strong against a bitcoin and majority of the markets during a massive uncertainty phase you know that's where you get to see the significance of that project especially the strength when you are trying to measure that and caspa showed us that because you know during this market you know we did see over the past three weeks bitcoin did see a massive massive move towards the downside after um you know uh, Bitcoin uh, was sold by wow what was that Bitcoin was sold by Elon Musk's SpaceX you know after that announcement we did see a massive move towards the downside which obviously is going to impact the entire market but Caspa held its way Basically, you know, how I'm treating this is that this level of support at the 3.5 cents played out for us, um, you know, on a really, really positive note, which is great to see. And remember, these resistances and support lines, they're resistance and support line for a reason. So, you know, when you're moving towards the upside, that is a resistance. And we obviously saw that. And, you know, it has showed us, you know, since we broke at it here, for the second time around hitting a new yearly high and all-time high you know this time around you know caspa really showed and you know it's not just caspa it's the community really showed how much uh you know people are looking forward for this project to succeed because look at it we bounce back and forth for pretty much almost two weeks Sorry if my math is wrong, week and a half, sorry. You can see we retested that after the Bitcoin um, you know, plummet happened. We saw a bounce all the way up to that 4.4 cents, retested that once again, but still held around that range. So once again, showing us the strength. But now comes the question, what is next? You know, we're bouncing back and forth here. What really is next now? So what we're seeing with Bitcoin is that Bitcoin did go back into the 78.6, as mentioned, you know, uh, I was talking about this 78.6 on my channel in a few videos of mine over the past few days that this would be the positive scenario if the price of Bitcoin were to go back into the 78.6 that would be the positive uh, thing to see and that obviously happened because grayscale news was quite massive once again a huge news uh, as we are going into the new year of 2024. And also not only 2024, we're uh, about to enter quarter four as well for the year. And I'm projecting that it is going to end on a positive note, especially for altcoins. So these are some factors we need to keep in mind um, and really shows how uh, smart money is really taking crypto. Uh, you know, what angle are they really taking a look at Bitcoin, especially for? And, you know, they are taking it really seriously, treating it as an asset class, which speaks for itself, especially before Bitcoin having and all these, uh, you know, hedge funds uh, and, you know, these institutions are once again, remember, competitors of one another. Uh, and, you know, whoever gets the Bitcoin ETF first, 
is going to have that first mover advantage and is going to really take majority of the profit in the market. So that is something we need to um, obviously uh, keep in mind. And you know, we're seeing that we're starting to see that happen. But Caspa, on the other hand, is continuing to show us why it's such a hyped project. And, you know, the way it has held around the support line speaks for itself. But now what I want to see Caspa do is reclaim back above that 4.4 cents mark in order for us to retest that zone. That is a move of about 23%. And we could see that happening if Bitcoin gets back above 28k mark dominance is starting to move a little bit on the higher end but despite that fact we're seeing caspa one of the top gainers um you know in the markets right now about 6.2 percent which is not bad uh when we're examining but that is to be expected remember a lot of people are starting to realize the power of caspa and it's really starting to show me very very close similarities of cardano specifically you know uh, if you guys know, I've been covering Cardano from the get-go, uh, way past, uh, you know, before all these influencers came around and started covering Cardano. I've been talking about Cardano way, way before, and you can see this for yourself if you go onto my channel. And I'm starting to see the similarities. Obviously, uh, in a way, there are competitors, as I've mentioned to you guys before. Caspa is a competitor to Cardano. It's a layer one, um, and, you know, it has its own quite unique tech and you know people are quite taking it quite seriously and the craziest thing that continues to shock me is that this project it's a layer one remember that's not the craziest part obviously last bull cycle we got a massive amount of interest coming to layer ones and layer twos but the craziest thing is that this project is able to obtain a billion dollar market valuation without a tier one exchange which is mind-blowing so imagine once a Binance, the likes of Kraken come on board, what do you think is going to happen to the price? If it's able to gain to 5.3 cents without them, where are we really projecting the price of Caspa being uh, once it gets to that? Once it crosses 10 cents mark, I really think the, uh, you know, real parabolic bull cycle begins but not only that the timing is going to be perfect in my opinion we reached 5.3 cents without binance imagine if we get binance possibly again this is me literally going out of the blue if binance were to list it at the end of the year we could potentially see a 10 cent caspa before the end of the year but again this is if binance comes on board if not next year, who cares? You know, um, even if they come out next year, they list Caspa, you know, 10 cents is inevitable. But remember, that's before even the Bitcoin happening. Imagine when the bull cycle begins, more and more people start talking about it. We know what can happen. And I've made some projections uh, for uh, Caspa in my other updates. It's the first time coming onto the channel. Again, this is all speculation. I'm uh, doing my part uh, of speculation as anyone has the right to do so not financial advice we will see what happens but i compared it with cardano and i also compared it with avalanche if we're comparing with avalanche's all-time high we're looking at a dollar fifty range if we're looking at it from cardano it's like a three plus dollar cast per target but you know we could be throwing these numbers back and forth but we will see what happens so far so good really liking what i'm seeing the interest level is building up community is growing at a tremendous rate but we will have to take it one step at a time as i've said but that is it for today's update thank you so much for all your support let me know down below what you guys think see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out